You're being sued by the SEC. Correct. Clients are withdrawing from your funds. Certain clients. The certain clients. clients. I mean, my individual clients, in some cases, are setting in more money. Well, that's encouraging yeah. for you, certainly. Yeah. Most money managers would be in hiding right now. Why not you? Well, you know, I would say, and I, I don't want to praise myself in any way, but everyone has to act according to their own set of values. I'd say if this happens with a 30-year-old with no money, you're out of business. It happened to happen to a 73-year-old that's reasonably financially well off. And I value my legacy. I've done nothing wrong. Uh, and I take comfort from that fact. And a guy that is like one of my heroes, uh, I'm sure you know him, Ken Langone, called me up four months ago when this all hit. And he said something that I to it totally resonated with me. He said, Lee, I've known you for 40 years. Uh, I've been an investor with you for over 10 years. I know what you stand for. I can only advise you and tell you that the best $30 million I ever spent, that's Ken Langone spending it, was my $30 million defending myself against Elliot Spitzer. Don't give them a dime if you've done nothing wrong. And I remember from my past when I was a good, diligent student, Robert Harper in 1798 uh, coined the phrase, millions for defense, not one cent for tribute. And so this has cost me substantially more than uh, uh, they wanted me to give them. Uh, but In legal the, fees, I take it. Oh, the legal fees. And lost are, business. Uh, uh, legal fees and lost business are astronomical. And it really makes me sad because I give you commercial. You know, I've taken the giving pledge with Warren Buffett. Uh, I believe that I am my brother's keeper. I want to give my money back to society. And with the, my children, my grandchildren, my wife, we have something called the Koopman College Scholars. We would basically have a program to send 500 kids in Essex County, New Jersey to college. What this is going to cost me, I could probably multiply the 500 by fivefold. And it's a shame because it's life changing for the kids, giving them something to look forward to. But it is what it is, you know, there's nothing much you could do. Lee, people who don't know you the way Ken Langone knows you, mm -hmm. and other friends of yours and investors know you, will ask this question. Do you, as a matter of practice, in an effort to produce returns for your investors, sail close to the wind? Do you bump up not at all not, against not, the not, limits not, of the not, law? Not even close. We are a deep dive fundamental firm. Information is not a crime. We speak with companies who try to develop information. I ran Goldman Sachs Research for 14 years. We've with the firm for 25 years. We always told the analysts, if a company gives you something that's significant, non-public information, basically urge the company to make a press release. We're not looking for inside information. We're looking for insight. Don't make any attempt to outlaw speaking with companies. We are on a level playing field. We do not seek inside information. I would love to go into the facts around this case, but my lawyers got me muzzled. But uh, it is so sad what's going on, I can't begin to tell you.